If you have just installed Debian 11, there are 20 things every Debian user must do after installing Debian 11 both I. You can see the list on your screen right now. There are time codes in the description if you want to jump to some of these topics quickly. Let's get started. If you install Debian from a DVD, when you update your system, you may see the error, the repository CD-ROM does not have a release file. I mentioned this problem in my Debian installation guide, and it was one of the reasons I recommended using the net install image for the Debian installation. To fix this error, open the software and updates app, and in the other software tab, disable CD-ROM repository. Now the CD-ROM error is fixed. Add Contrib and non-free repositories. Contrib and non-free repositories include many useful packages that are not available in the Debian default repositories. For example, proprietary drivers, codecs, and many others. You will see it later in this video. To add Contrib and non-free repositories, activate them in the software and updates app. And reload the information about the available repositories. Install drivers. Most likely, your Debian 11 works fine with the open source graphics driver. However, you can also try proprietary drivers. Unfortunately, proprietary drivers often perform better. I assume you have added the non-free repositories as I showed in the previous thing to do after installing Debian 11, because those repositories contain proprietary drivers. If you have an NVIDIA card, you first need to check what driver is required for your system. You can use the NVIDIA Detect program for that. Install it and check your system. Then install the suggested package. After the reboot, your proprietary NVIDIA driver should be activated. You can also tweak it through the NVIDIA settings. AMD open source drivers are usually very good and should work fine out of the box. If you still want to try the non-free AMD drivers, you need to run this command and install the non-free AMD driver and some MESA packages. If you play games on your Debian machine, it is also worth enabling Vulkan support by installing these packages. I provide all the commands in the description of this video. After the installation, reboot your system and you should see the improvements in your graphic performance if it was not great before. Install Microcode. Microcode is a CPU firmware that controls how your processor works. It is better to have the latest microcode for the stability and reliability of your system. So by installing the microcode, you ensure you have the microcode updates. Search for microcode in Synaptic and install either Intel or AMD microcode depending on the type of your processor. Install Build Essential. Build Essential are needed for the compilation and installation of some programs, so it is better to install it right after the installation of Debian 11 and forget. I also recommend to install Linux headers, because this package is also often required by some programs, such as VirtualBox for example. Install Restricted Extras In Ubuntu you can install all restricted codecs, some Microsoft phones and RAR archive support with the Ubuntu Restricted Extra package. Unfortunately, this package does not exist in Debian, but you can install all these restricted extras packages with this command. To remind you, I provide all the commands in the description of this video, so you can copy-paste them. Improve Microsoft Phones compatibility We have just installed some popular Microsoft phones such as Times New Roman and Arial with the TTF MS Core Font Installer package. But this is not enough. I have made a dedicated video on how to get better Microsoft font compatibility in your Linux. You can watch it by clicking on this card. There is also a link in the description. Briefly, now Microsoft Office uses the font Calibri and Cambria, which are not available in Linux. But you can install these alternatives from Google, and they are almost 100% compatible with Calibri and Cambria. To learn the details on how to use them, please watch the dedicated video on better Microsoft Fonts compatibility. Configure Swappiness 
I have a dedicated video on Linux Swap and Swappiness. You can watch it by clicking on this card or by using the link in the description. Briefly, your system can gain some performance if you decrease the swap usage and increase the use of RAM. The default swappiness value is 60. You can decrease it by opening the sysctl config file and adding the vm swappiness equal 10 at the very end of this file. Press Ctrl O to save the changes and Ctrl X to exit nano editor. Reboot your system. You will see swappiness value of 10. Now your system will preferably use RAM, which is faster than swap on your hard drive. Speed up the boot time. When you start your Debian 11, you see this group screen. You can disable this 5 seconds delay and start booting Debian right away. You need to open the group configuration file and set group timeout to 0. Then update group, reboot your Debian and your Debian 11 will boot without the group delay. If you need to call the group menu, press the shift key during the boot and you will see it on your screen. Install and configure firewall. I have talked about why I believe it is better to have a firewall on Linux in one of my previous videos. I also showed how to use the Linux firewall app in that video, please watch it. To get the basic firewall protection, you can install and enable the UFW firewall. After the installation activated, the default settings are fine for most users. If you need to configure it more, watch my video on the Linux firewall. The link is in the description. Install a backup program. A backup program is a must-have for every desktop. Unfortunately, Debian 11 Bullseye does not have any backup program pre-installed. If you want the simplest option, install TimeShift. It is pretty straightforward to configure. If you need more advanced program, I reviewed GRSync and Lucky Backup in my previous videos. Watch it if you haven't, the link is in the description. Enable GNOME extensions. GNOME can be highly customized with the GNOME extensions. There is a short list of pre-installed extensions available in the Extensions app. However, there are many more extensions at extensions.gnome.org website. To be able to install extensions from this website, you need to install the browser extension first. It takes a few clicks. Now you can install any extension from the browser. I will give you an example in the next thing to do after installing Debian 11 Bullseye. Enable tray icons. Unfortunately, many of the third-party apps such as Dropbox, Skype, Zoom and some others do not show up in the tray in GNOME Desktop. To enable such functionality, go to extensions.gnome.org and search for Top Icons Plus extension. Install it. You should see your tray icons appearing in the top panel. Go to its settings and move it to the right. Now all apps that have a tray icon will show up here. Install additional themes. To install additional themes, you first need to install the user themes extension as suggested here. Open the extensions app and enable it. Next, go to gnomelook.org and download any theme you like. Extract the archive and move this theme folder to the .themes folder in your home folder. Press Ctrl H to see the hidden files that start with the dot. If you do not have the .themes folder, just create it. When the theme is installed, restart Wix, go to Appearance and select this new theme. Similarly, you can install the icons theme by placing them in the .icons folder. I showed my top GNOME themes in this video. There is also instruction on how to install them. If you want to customize your GNOME desktop, I highly recommend you to watch that video. Add user image. To complete the desktop theme, add your user image. Go to the account settings and add your user image. This will make your system more personal. Add minimize button. 
Some GNOME users are fine with the only close button, but I think many users also prefer to have the minimize button, including myself. To edit, open tweaks, and in the Windows title bars, enable it. You can also enable the maximize button, but it is better to use the double click on the title bar to maximize your windows. Enable night light. Night light will reduce the amount of blue light on your screen at night time, which is better for your eyes and sleep. To activate it, go to the settings, display, night light, and turn it on. Now your eyes are safe. Change LibreOffice look. You can use LibreOffice as it is, but I would like to show you a few options how you can make it more suitable for your needs. For example, you can change the view to the single panel. This is especially helpful on small screens. You may also like the tabbed layout. You can also change the icons, open tools, options, view, style. I like Colibri icons more than the default icons. Enable Snap or Flatpak support. Snap and Flatpak programs are distribution agnostic, so you can install any version of a Snap or a Flatpak program and do not worry about the lack of dependencies. To enable Snap and Flatpak support in Debian 11, open the Software Center, search for GNOME Software, select it, and you will find the option to enable Snap and Flatpak here. Enable either of them or both. Restart the software center and test it by searching, for example, for KDN Live. You will find two versions. One of them is a snap package, as you can find out from the package repositories, and the other one is a regular Debian package. Extend the battery life for laptops. If you run Debian on a laptop, you can get some extra battery time by installing the TLP power management tools. After you reboot, you will find the TLP process active. These tools provide automatic power settings that reduce energy usage. I hope these 20 essential things to do after installing Debian 11 Bullseye will greatly improve your Debian desktop experience. There are even more Linux tips you can learn by clicking on any of the videos you see on your screen right now. Thank you for watching.